guys, welcome back to SA EDC Reviews. I am JP and thanks for watching. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Olight M2R Pro. Okay, um, this is the box over here. So as you can see, 300 meter throw with a maximum of 1800 lumen. Okay, so just a quick fact on the light. Pricing was uh, 2199 Rand. I know the pricing has gone up on these though. I'm not sure what the new price is. It's probably been just under three grand, I think, and um, still worth it. Guys, the M2R Warrior Pro from Olight is um, definitely a light to consider if you want a tactical light, work light, as well as an EDC light. I think sometimes it's better to just uh, cough out that extra bucks, get one decent light, and here it is, okay? So, made from a high-grade aluminum, um, you have your extra sharp bezel over here, which is very nice, strike bezel. Um, you've got a tail switch, you've got the side switch. You've got this uh, pocket clip over here, which is removable. Um, dual carry, so you can either carry it that way around or that way around for deep carry. And as well as on the other way around, so you can have your flashlight pointing up. And if you take the clip off and you put it on that side, you can have the flashlight pointing down. So your side switch over here is a little rubber switch and it's got the light underneath. I'll just show you guys switch that on. You can see it's a green light, so which means the battery is uh, still good. I think it's under 70% it will go orange and then under 30% or 35% it will go red. And then once under 10% it will start flashing red. You have six brightness modes in total and four over here and that's simply just by keeping the button in it will cycle through um the mode switch on and keeping it in will then cycle through all the modes okay um simple on and off single touch uh, you can it's in memory mode so it will automatically go to the last mode it was in and then you can double touch to go to that uh, turbo mode and triple touch to go to the strobe then we'll get to the rear switch. They have changed it slightly before, just you see it flush, you wouldn't have these little three little um, pieces sticking out over there. And the piece in the middle that you can use with the magnetic charging cable. All right, so two functions on here. You can obviously just uh, keep it in and release. So it's a momentary and touch to have it in on and off like that as well. All the way into the clicks it'll go to your turbo mode of 1800 lumen okay it doesn't stay there so as soon as you release the button it goes off again then you can change through simply push the button and push the side button then it switches over to a second mode um, where you can keep it in momentary okay for turbo mode and push it in all the way for strobe function great Okay guys, getting back to the box, as you can see, we spoke about that, 300 meter throw, 1,800 lumens, um, inside the box, it's a nice message, um, it will show you, you've got the yellow tab you need to take out for the battery, you get a little pouch, you get the charging cable, you get a lanyard, and uh, obviously the, the manual with that as well. Okay, let's just put that out the way. So your magnetic tail switch and the magnetic charging cable simply just goes on there like that and you plug this into any USB power port but they do say that you need to plug this into the power port first and then put that on. Um, it will then go red light which means charging and then once it hits 90% 90, 90 it will go green. To access the battery, you can simply take the tail cap off. There's an O-ring over there, and there you go. Okay. Nice and tight. All right, guys, we outside, nice and quiet. Um, we're just gonna do the turbo mode, just to show you what it looks like. It's uh, a starry night tonight, so it's not, Full moon, I think it's about a half moon. Yeah, and um, it's fairly bright. It's had a lot of lighting, as you can see. Just put the torch on, 
um, that is in your medium one mode and that is in your turbo mode of 1800 lumen so they claim 300 meters we'll see how far down the road we can do we can take it you can see easily that's about 100 meters already um, the trees you can see how it goes all the way that's easily 200 meters down there um, the stop street at the bottom there okay so nice and far um, we'll do this side again that's your turbo mode you start feeling the flashlight getting hot and uh, there we go the tree medium one and turbo big difference okay so let's just go through the other one and keep it in to go through the modes and you can see and turbo again cool and go to your uh, strobe function there we go cool so something else we got with the m2 art pro is the um weapon mount this is the ewm25 as well as the uh, rx007 which is a magnetic remote switch so we will show you how that works quickly and where I've mounted it and why. So let's start with the EWM25, as you can see. This um, will fit various models. So it's not the only one this will work with. I know with the Warrior X as well. So you simply pull that lever out over there and then unscrew it. That will give it some space and you can then make room over there to slide the flashlight in okay so what we'll do is take the tail cap off as well as the pocket clip because we don't need that anymore oh, that's a strong one check out that angle of that pocket clip insane that's what I just struggle I let my finger taking that off that's a good thing knowing I won't lose that okay now that we're not going to need that um, just make sure that you have the right direction or place you want it on before you put it on. Simply push that down and put the flashlight in. Okay, make sure you don't damage the o-ring. And then obviously line up where you want that side switch. Okay, I prefer to have it away from the weapon like that. Um, and I'll show you my reasons now. Put the tail cap back. And there you go. And there you have it. It is now on the uh, weapon mount. And now we will mount it on the weapon. Okay, so over here I've got my uh, airsoft rifle. Yes, it's not a real 223. Um, it is airsoft indeed. Um, I've pre mounted the remote switch. So let's go over to the Picatinny rail. I'll show you guys how to mount the flashlight. So basically, you just need to make sure that you don't have space there. If you don't, you just pull that out and loosen it a bit, and that will then obviously go to the max. You can then just clip it on to wherever you want it. There we go, that's in. And then just tighten it up again by simply pulling and turning the little wheel. So this um, weapon mount is actually designed not to come off during impacts or vibration, okay? And I would believe that because it's a very simple design, but it is tough, okay? Just use that, that is on, there we go. Make sure it's locked in, there we go. So you can see I'm gonna pull on this, it's not gonna come off, it's not even, this thing's tight, okay? And then over here, I have mounted the remote switch. Same, this is just basically clipping onto the Picatinny rail and clipping off again. Um, it is made of like a hard plastic that is slightly flexible. And then you've got your switch over there, the button switch in okay. here. There is your magnetic um, endpoint. Just to give you an idea how strong this is, guys, I'm going to actually hold the rifle pointing it upwards. And you can see 
if I'm holding it like that, it's dangling. I'm gonna just hold it up so you can see how strong that mag magnet is actually. Look at that. Okay, so that is about what, five, six centimeters away and it's actually still pulling towards that uh, tail cap or the flashlight. So I'll go down a little bit more. There we go, it starts falling only. So that is quite strong. There you have it. Touch, and it will go to the strobe mode. That's the last function it was on. Okay guys, so there you have it mounted. So you guys can see what it looks like. Um, pretty mean, I like it. You can obviously mount it to where you want it. So wherever you have the Picatinny rail, either side, bottom, top, sides. Um, the reason why I mounted on this side is because I've got a laser on the other side. Um, I'm just playing around with it. That's not where it's going to stay. This goes on to the CZ Scorpion. And um, I've got the vertical grip in front. Okay, so I've mounted it there for reason number one. If I hold the vertical grip, I can use the back part of my thumb over there to just push onto the switch like that on and off. Okay, so it is momentary. If you just uh, quickly touch it, it will stay on and touch it again to go off. Okay, so just like that. Um, so I just need to move that cable out the way. You do get cable ties with the remote switch. So if you need to tie it up, you can. Um, I'm fine with that. It's quite strong. It's not going to come off. Okay. So like I said, back of my, my thumb, on and off like that. Uh, all momentary and just release. And then um, the second option is to have it like that. So I can do the same. Okay. And the third option over there. Finger, index finger forward so I have three ways of getting access to this uh, switch and then lastly if the magnet comes off in any way I still have my thumb to push the tail switch like that okay and if that still fails I can still hold my rifle like that and I've got my index finger by the side switch there you have it the RWX07 comes with a 7 inch uh, little cable and um, like I mentioned it comes with two cable ties that you can tie that up wherever you, you please. I've seen guys actually feed this magnetic uh, cable through the Picatinny rail or whatever system depending on the firearm they have. Um, in my case I had it previously I just had it tucked in over there okay it doesn't come out but the best way for me would be obviously to have it around and nice and tight like that. Okay, so it's not in the way at all. It doesn't move, it stays right there. Unless you're going to hook it onto something, um, it's not going to move at all. Alright guys, so there you have it. The Olight M2R Warrior uh, Pro with uh, the magnetic switch as well as the wet and mount. Okay. You can go to I reckon to Olight South Africa or Torch SA, and um, they'll have all the products on there for you. And like I said, you don't have to take the M2R uh, Pro. You can take the Warrior X as well. That will fit onto the same brackets and works with the same switch as well. Um, if you already have the switch and everything, you can always change the flashlight as well. Okay, um, pricing is on there. Like I said, the pricing has changed. I'm not too sure on the the current pricing, but I know I paid uh, 500 rand for the switch. Uh, I think it's 300 Rand for the bracket and 2200 for the flashlight. Um, that's the old prices. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, stay in contact. Any suggestions, please comment below, and um, I'm glad we reply. Cheers.